let's see L'Hopital's rule. What is it? It's written like this and pronounced L'Hopital's. L'Hopital's rule. What is this rule? Um, a function is expanded by Taylor's theorem and then we come to a point, we come to a rule that is called L'Hopital's rule. What it is? Let's say limit of fx, this is a function, when x tends to a is 0. And another function, limit x tends to a, the limit is same, for let's say the other function is phi, this is 0. Okay. Then if we have to find limit x tends to a fx by f by phi x. This will be equal to this limit by this limit. That is, this will be in which form? 0 by 0 form. Now, you know 0 by 0 is indeterminate. In mathematics, 0 by 0 is a form which is indeterminate. So, we expand the function and we come to a rule that is called L'Hopital's rule. It's very simple. What it is, uh, try to understand. If you are taking limit x tends to a fx by phi x and if it is 0 by 0 then what you can do you take first derivative f des x by phi des x what is f des x you know it is d of this function d by dx of this function similarly d by dx of phi x is phi des x so you take this and you take the limit this will be equal that is limit of fx by phi x when limit uh, x tends to a is equal to limit x tends to a f des x by phi des x. This is L'Hopital's rule, a very popular rule to evaluate limits. Also, if let us say f at a is equal to f at a, that is x tends to a, is equal to a f des a, then f double dash a, and this is up to the n minus 1th derivative at a. If all these are 0, that is, this is also 0 by 0 and second derivative is also uh, 0 by 0. In that case, if the nth derivative, if you keep on taking derivatives and if the nth derivative is not equal to 0, then this is equal to limit x tends to a f n x by phi n x. Clear? The simple is mean, meaning is if you have to find the limit of uh, a function which is function by function and which comes to 0 by 0, take first derivative of the two functions and put this limit. If it again comes to 0 by 0, take second derivative and then put the uh, limit. Keep on doing this till you get a proper value. This is the meaning of this whole rule. And this is extended to infinity by infinity also. I told you this is for 0 by 0. If you have functions where limits are infinity and infinity, that is infinity by infinity, you can do this process for that function also. So, the concept is clear. Now, we will take some examples to understand this. We know limit sin x by x extending to 0 is equal to 1. This we know and this is a standard result that should be kept in mind. Let us solve this ish problem by L'Hopital's rule. This is in 0 by 0 form. So, what we can do? We will do this limit x tending to 0. We will take derivative of this that is d sin x by dx by d by dx of this function x. So, what do we get? we get limit x tends to 0. This is sin x becomes cos x by this becomes 1. Now, put 0 cos 0 that is 1. Okay. So, this is a very good example to start with. Let us see the function is 1 minus cos m x by x square. Now, if limit x tends to 0, when you put 0 here, this will be 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is 0. So, this is in 0 by 0 form. So, let us take first derivative. 
limit x tends to 0 what will be the derivative of this d of this with respect to x so when you take cos with respect to uh, x you get minus so minus minus gone plus this will be m sin mx by this will be 2x okay now if you put 0 this is 0 and this is 0 again 0 by 0 form still we are not able to get the limit so what we'll do we'll take second derivative so let's take second derivative limit x tends to 0 this will be m again m is square this will be cos mx d of sin mx by x so that will be m cos mx and this will be 2 okay now put x equal to 0 what you will get this will be when x is 0 this is cos 0 so 1 so the answer will be m square by 2 so we are able to find the limit of this function by L'Hopital's rule okay let's see <coughs> one more function and then when then we'll solve a tougher question let's one more easy example limit x tending to 0 e to the power a x minus e to the power b x by x see when you put 0 this becomes 1 this becomes 1 so 1 minus 1 0 and 0 so this is in 0 by 0 form so what we will do we will take first derivative let us see if our problem gets resolved by the first derivative so when you take derivative of the denominator x this will be 1 and here what you will get this will be a e to the power a x minus b e to the power b x ok so now put x equal to 0 this will be 1 this will be 1 so the answer is a minus b so very simply we are able to get the result this question the question is you know it will take three four steps to solve but the concept is same if you put x equal to 0 this is 0 this is log 1 so 0 so 0 by 0 form so what we will do we will take first derivative what will be the first derivative limit x tending to 0 in the denominator we will have 2x derivative of x square here let us take x e x so this will be first of all x e x plus e x dx by x so this is from first and then here what we will do we will take d of log 1 plus x with respect to 1 plus x and then we will take 1 plus x with respect to x so what do you get you get 1 by 1 plus x from here and from here you get 1 so this is basically 1 plus x okay now if you put 0 let's see denominator will be 0 here this is 0 this is 1 and when you put 0 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so again 0 by 0 form so what we will have to take what we will have to do we will have to take the second derivative let's see limit x tending to 0 first of all this one so this is again x e x plus e to the power x for this then for this you have e to the power x and then you have 1 plus x 1 by 1 plus x what is the um, how, what will be the derivative this is basically this thing so you have to take first of all with respect to 1 plus x and then 1 plus x with respect to x what is you know how to take this this is n x n minus 1 so n is minus 1 minus and then this minus 1 so this will be 1 by 1 plus x square and this is simply 1 so what we get is here minus so minus minus plus 1 by 1 plus x 1 plus x whole square not this okay so this is in the numerator and in the denominator we have 2 only now let let let's put x equal to 0 so here 0 it is 0 this is e to the power 0 so 1 plus e to the power 0 1 plus 1 by x is 0 so 1 simply 1 by 2 so what we get 3 by 2 so the limit is 3 by 2 now let's see one more example log x by cot x so what is the limit 
limit is x is tending to 0. So, when you put x 0, this is infinity and when you put 0, again it is infinity. So, this is infinity by infinity form. Again, in determinate form, I told you, you will, you should apply the same rule here. So, this will be first derivative. What is the derivative of log x? It is 1 by x. And what is the derivative of cot x? It is minus cosec square x. Okay. So, let us rearrange it properly. This is limit x tending to 0 minus cosec becomes sin. So, this is sin square x by x. If you put 0, this is 0, 0. Now, from infinity to infinity, it has come to 0 by 0 form. Again, what we will do? Same thing. Limit x tending to 0. Sin square x. What is the derivative of sin square x with respect to x? What we do? We take first, first of all, we take with respect to sin x and then sin x with respect to x. Chain rule. So, this is 2 sin x. I am writing it here. 2 sin x. See, this is 2 sin x, x square. So, 2 sin x and then sin x by x, cos x. Okay. And denominator is x. So, this is 1. Now, let us put the limiting value 0. This is 1, this is 2. So, 2 cross 0 cross 1. So, the limit is 0. Okay. So, this is the way we apply L'Hopital's rule to evaluate limit. What you have to do many a times you will find functions that are not exactly in 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form. What you need to do is to arrange them in such a way that you get a limit of 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form and then you can apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay. So, for example, what I just said, let us say what we saw? We saw log x by cot x and the limit we found was 0. This question can be presented in this way. Limit x tending to 0. This is tan x into log x. Now, this is not exactly in 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form. So, if you put 0, this will be 0. And this will be infinity. That is, this is 0, infinity. So, what we did? We just, what we have to do, not what we did. In place of tan x, we will write cot x. Now, this will be infinity by infinity form. Okay. So, this is how you will have to rearrange if you have, if you find such questions. Okay.